Hey guys, welcome back to Stormworks. Today, we're going to be building a little tiny submarine. And when I say a little tiny submarine, it's got to at least fit us inside of it, and it's got to allow us to actually be able to get out, as well as having ballast tanks and stuff like that to be able to sink and uh, resurface. So, let's go ahead and start building. Okay, so uh, I guess what we're going to have to do is figure out how big this can be before we have issues. In fact, I think we might be able to get away with this, uh, with one of these guys right here like this, and one of these. There we go. We then obviously put one of those guys on there, we shove this guy back onto here like this, and we then seal it off on the top with these guys. Oh yeah! I think that's probably big enough. Obviously, we're going to have to have some sort of uh, tanks in here somewhere, but for now, this looks okay. Alright, so with that being said, let's go ahead and just fully fill out the tube. We're going to go to this side, we're going to go to the bottom, and out to this side as well. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this in a few times. There we go. Let's merge these all together as well. And then, I don't know, do we want to like copy the entire thing? I think that would make sense to do. So, we copy this. We send it backwards, and we paste it again, and again, and again. There we go. On the back, we're going to go ahead and extend it down to pretty much a point, and then on the front, we're going to do something different. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. So shove these guys onto the back like this. Uh, don't really know the best way of doing this, actually, but for now, we'll go with that. That looks okay. We'll go ahead and shove this one down to there as well. We're clearly going to have to add another one of those onto there as well. Uh, a 1 by 4 needs to go into there, and then we need a 2... a 1 by 2 pyramid in here and here and here. There we go, that is looking cool so far. Uh, we're gonna continue this down, and we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, going upwards. And there we go. Hopefully this is small enough to count as a small submarine, but also big enough for us to walk around in there and fit everything in there that we are going to need. For example, ballast tanks. We're going to need uh, some of those. I can actually get away with deleting all of these pieces right here, which gives us actually a lot more room. Anyway, the front end needs to be less pointy than the rear end. So on the front of this, let's go ahead and use... I don't know, I guess another one of these really quickly. But instead of using the 1x4s like we did on the other one, we're gonna go ahead and use 1x2s. Yes! Okay, that should work. Uh, so, if we shove these guys into here, turn it around, bosh. Do this one as well, obviously going upwards. Delete this in the center. Shove that on there for now, but it is gonna change. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, uh, what I'm planning to do right here, but we'll figure it out. Alright, so instead of using 1x4s here, we're going to use a 1x2, and we're going to go with a 1x1. There we go. Shove that guy into there, shove this guy into here, and that's all good. Let's go ahead and copy the top to the bottom. Uh, make sure all these pieces are sorted as well, obviously. So we'll do this one, there we go, and I'm actually just going to attach a rope to the front. <laughs> it doesn't make too much sense, but you'll see. We might need it. And there we go. So far, that is looking pretty nice, to be honest. Um, I am actually going to go and delete this, even though I said we might need it. I'm going to shove this into there and there. We're going to shove one of these guys onto here like this, and we're going to send it up to about there. I'm now going to delete the entire top end of this, and we're going to try and replace it with something else. I don't know quite how this is going to go, but hopefully quite well. Okay, I had to do something back here to change it up a little bit. It looks extremely weird as we uh, we look at it from here, but I think that's actually a really cool feature. The fact that it does look weird. 
So let's extend this bit all the way backwards to there. I might do something different back here. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to replace that with this. And that looks kind of cool to me. It looks a little bit weird, but kind of cool at the same time. I might actually go into here uh, and change this bit up a bit, actually. I think I can. So if I do this, we might actually be able to make the back look nicer again. All right, yeah, let's do it. If I can make it look nicer, I want it to look nicer. So shove this bit onto there like that. Shove this piece under here. Attach that onto there, there, and fill this bit in. There we go. Still looks a little bit weird, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shove a rope anchor bit into there. I'm actually going to go ahead and shove one on the side here as well. And I'm actually going to go ahead and shove probably like three of them down the side right here, if there's a center. Is there one, two, three, four? One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go, because there is a center. Nice. We're also going to shove one right here on the back, just in case as well. That looks pretty cool to me. Okay, so whereabouts on this thing should we actually sit? Oh, yeah, I guess that is actually the correct thing to say. Let's go ahead and delete this around here somewhere. Get ourselves a hatch and obviously shove it on. There we go. Now, I am going to need to get out of this submarine when it's underneath the water. Because that's the plan. Uh, so, I need to figure out a way to do that. I'm not sure whether we should just increase the height of this or lower it down. I don't know just yet. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is actually attach one of these, I think. There we go. One of those to there. I'm actually just going to go ahead and do two of these. And I'm going to shove that onto there like this. We're then going to shove these guys. One, two. Uh, fill this bit in. And I'm going to do this one. Here we go. One, two. And this is going to be like our little conning tower that isn't really a tower at all. <laughs> so shove that onto there, maybe just one of those. Fill all of that in together. That looks beautiful. Yes. As for the underside of this ship, I am going to be deleting that. I'm going to delete these for now. And I'm going to replace some of this um, with these pieces. Now, you might be wondering why. Uh, the main reason is because we're going to add some sort of weight down there. Um, so that when we are surfaced, it doesn't look too weird. There we go. Send this all the way backwards, kind of like this. Attach one of those onto... There? I mean, I could just do this. Yeah, that works. Delete that guy. Shove one of these onto there as well. There we go. Uh, shove all of these guys together, of course. And that's all fine. So, it's going to be a battery-powered submarine. Um, it's not going to have a very long distance at all, in terms of... Um, range, but it should be fine. So let's go to batteries real quick. We're going to go to the teeniest, tiniest ones, and we're going to shove a bunch of them in here. There we go. So you're not really going to be able to see these naturally, but we know that they are there. All right, cool. Delete this and all of this and these two. I'm then going to paint this in the floor because obviously we don't need it to be red. And there we go. We've got ourselves some batteries. This is looking pretty cool so far. I like it. All right, time to make it look a little bit nicer. Let's go to fluid ports and shove some of those onto here. I want to use the bigger ones. And I think I want like two of these. So let's shove that one into actually probably here like this. And we'll have another one around here as well. So delete that guy, shove it onto there. Have this bit in the middle sealed. That looks awesome. Okay, uh, I am still struggling to think about how to do this piece, uh, where the airlock is going to be. I think I'm just going to shove that in there like that. Going to shove this piece onto the back end of here, and this bit right here. We're then going to move this down, I think. I don't know how much room I need, but more than that. So seal that off there. Go down maybe one more, and I think it would be okay there. I'm pretty sure it would be. Okay, spawn it in. It's a bit windy. She's uh, fallen over, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so far, actually so good. I, I know it's tipping over, and I know that's not necessarily a good thing, uh, but we can somewhat sort that out, which is great. So let's go to control surfaces. We are actually going to attach some onto here, um, presumably on the rear, though. Like I feel like I could delete that and actually shove some of these into here. So I'm going to do that. Let's uh, shove this here. 
Do this across there. And shove a big control fin right there like that. Yeah, I mean, that works. So hopefully that makes it a tiny bit more stable. It seems to have made it extremely more stable, to be honest. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. We're going to have to add more weight to this. I want it to sort of have neutral buoyancy off the get-go, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and add some blocks to the back. Four right there. We're going to add four right here and see how high it is now. Because essentially we need the propeller to be under the water. Uh, and in order to do that, we're going to need more weight. Okay, that's fine. We're also going to need a motor anyway, so this is fine. Okay, let's go to pipe real quick. We're going to shove a standard pipe in there. We're going to put a propeller onto the back of that, which is likely going to be a large one. Here we go. Uh, if I drag this all the way to the back, I have. If I move it forwards and I shove this onto there, it should be good. Okay, in there, that color. Okay, so as long as the middle of that is underwater, we are in a good position. We are in a good position. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Never mind. We need more. Uh, more weight at the back, but that's okay because if I add a gearbox into here, there'll be more weight automatically using that. I'm going to add two. We're then going to add a pipe onto there and a motor medium onto here. A medium motor seems like a really, really big motor for this. But if we make these maximum, we'll get a good good amount of power out of it, I think. I, I don't mean amount of power, but I think it'll gear ratio it in a good in a good way. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say anyway. Let's go and attach all these guys together. Like this, there we go. And yeah. Anyway, what I'm trying to say with the um the motor is that it'll be kind of efficient this way. At least I think so anyway. Alright, shove all of that into there. Shove it all into here. There we go. Okay, uh, we're then going to attach these up to there, obviously. This into here and here. That attaches to both of those. Okay. Oh, yes! Look at that! It is now underneath the water, and we should be able to dive. I do still need some sort of way of turning, so I need a rudder. Don't know how I'm going to add one of those just yet, but we definitely need one. I think what I'll do, actually, is delete this and have a very similar situation go on underneath. I'll just grab one of these. Shove it on there like that. I can't remember which way around it needs to go. I never remember. But I think that will allow us to turn. So, let's get ourselves a seat really quickly. Uh, one of these. I'm going to shove it in there. We're going to have it just... A and D do obviously this one. We're going to have W and S do forwards and backwards. We're going to have up and down. Actually control up and down. And that should be good. Should be good. I'm going to move the seat slightly sideways or backwards or something, though. Uh, probably to the back. There we go. Paste it there. Now, I won't be able to see from the inside just yet, but let's go ahead and get in and see if this works. All right, here we go. This is weird. I want to dive, so let's try and dive. No, the other way. Okay, go down. Oh, now we're struggling, aren't we? We are struggling to dive. Oh, oh. Yeah, it won't go underneath the water. We do need ballast tanks. We do. Also, trying to control the steering from a rudder underneath doesn't work. Not very well anyway. But this is starting to look pretty cool. I think we might add a tiny diesel generator into this. And obviously ballast tanks. And then it should work out really, really well. Yeah. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know whether I should continue with this or not. And we'll see what happens in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.